What's up everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, then stick around for a step-by-step -step tutorial. On Facebook, someone was wondering, they had a user that said their folders went missing and they couldn't find them. And so I said, just check the details pane in the command bar. And it was like, do what? Where? How? So stay tuned to find out the what, who, where, and how of the mysteries of missing folders in SharePoint document libraries. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard. Okay, so let's get the timer rolling. All right, so basically here's the dealio. Uh, you get a call from a user and they're like, oh, snizzle snap. Uh, I can't find the folder. Well, here's some things you can do real quick to see what's up. First and foremost, be an admin. Get an admin. Hop in there. Do you see the folders? Yeah, you see the folders. Can they see the folders? No, they can't see the folders. It's a permissions thing. Or they got moved or deleted. Just go to the command bar. This is the command bar. Hit the details pane. That's the details pane button. Look at the activity and boom, you can see a deleted, d deleted, delete me. A deleted, delete me. All right, so let's slow it down a little bit. And by the way, got to correct one thing. I didn't show you in the 60 second timer portion how to actually, you know, what to do after you discover that something's been deleted. Well, how do you find it? If it's been within the first 93 days, then you're just going to go into the gear icon. You're going to go into the site contents. You're going to look in the upper right hand corner. And you're going to go to the recycle bin. And you're going to restore the stuff from there. All right. Now on to the rest. And we'll just say if when you roll out SharePoint to your peoples, please, 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 please. Please show them a run through of a document library. Like, just go through the command bar. Start there. You can even start with something easy like this little bookshelf. If you want to see what other document libraries exist on this site, just click the drop down. Ba bam. And it's not going to show you like the site pages document library because we don't need people popping around in there like deleting site pages that we're okay with people having access to like create pages but that also typically grants people permission to delete pages but we trust that people aren't just going to go willy-nilly just like smacking pages away like come on who does that all right so there's your little drop down okay and then we got this command bar right here okay this is a dynamic command bar what do you mean by dynamic there's three different states of this command bar we've got like your little drop you got your um when if you don't have any files selected okay this is the, the, these are the options that you get. And when you see triple dots, it just means there's more stuff hanging out there. Okay. All right. So this is like state A, alpha one. I don't know. Um, and then let's say, oh, snap, you're going to select a file. You're selecting it. You're not, you're, oh, I, that was all of them. Wow. Imagine that. You're selecting something here. You're selecting a file. And these are the options you get after you have a file selected or highlighted. I don't know why. I don't see like there we go yeah but i, I want to see a contrast i have to change the view to make that a bit more of a contrast all right i digress so once you have an item selected then you get these options now we're not going to talk through all of these right now i mean you're watching this if there's something you want to dig in a particular drop down let me know in the comments and we'll get a video out for you so there you go there's that state and then if you select multiple files then you get these options and yeah I mean just give them a tour give them a tour but as you move across you know these things over here are gonna adjust too so let's say we have no file selected uh, we go to the detail pane here and then we can see the activity now it's not been a lot of activity here there's just that one thing but if something's missing you're in as an admin and so you don't see it either because if you're an admin and you don't see it then 
it must have been moved. It had to have been moved or deleted. And you'll see those options or you'll see those details in the details pane. There you go. Hopefully this helps. Please, please give your people a tour if they're going to be doing any kind of work in a document library. There you go. If you have questions, let us know. Please like, share, subscribe. Remember, do the very best you can with what you got. This is Carolina Mike saying, till we meet again, SharePoint rocks and so do you. Take it easy, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.